In this video, we'll be showing you how to modify existing boundaries within Agfinity and export them to your display. The first step would be to verify that all of your boundaries and field names match what is currently on the display. Um, we can modify this easiest by going to Manage Data. Here you will see all of your field names as well as the boundaries that are associated to them. Um, if for some reason a couple field boundaries are associated to one field name, you can select the boundary, edit, reassign it to a different field here. You can also add a new field. But the first step is to make sure that everything is associated properly and matches your display. Now, once that happens, we can go back to the maps view here. And for this demo, let's say that these two T's were combined into one rectangular T. So to modify the boundary, you select the wrench, boundary manager, this green star indicates that this is our active field boundary. We can edit by hitting the pencil. And now we see the polygons and the different data points. So there's several tools that you can use. You can add a new polygon, you can remove a polygon, add a circle, delete a polygon, remove overlap, save, and then cancel. And obviously undo buttons as well. So uh, to combine these two, I'm going to just select the delete polygon button and select those two polygons. Now they are removed. Now it, really this image is still here for reference. And I will select the Add Polygon button. And let's say that our new T box looks something like this. Not, not perfect, but, and you close the polygon by double clicking. Now we can modify it by dragging these out if you'd like. Make it a little bit more square. And by hitting the save button, that will save the boundary. Now this has to refresh. You'll probably get a prompt up here, potentially, that says refresh the page. Um, but I will just go ahead and hit refresh. So there we can see our T boundary has been modified. Now, when you modify the T boundary, that modifies your roughs as well. So we can select the roughs boundary. You can see there's still circular T's here. We can select boundary manager, hit the edit button. Now, a handy feature is this remove overlap button. We can select that and actually it automatically removes overlapping boundaries. So our T's overlap with some of our roughs, obviously. So that is a nice feature. And then we can save it here as well. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my page. And there, we can see that it modified the rough spray accordingly. Now that they're saved within Agfinity, you have to get them to your display. Now the easiest way to do this is actually hit the wrench again and then hit export. And you can select either display setup or selected layers. I feel like it's more intuitive to hit selected layers. Here it shows you roughs. We're exporting the boundary. Now either file type will work, but we'll go ahead and hit ag setup and then hit this check. Now it is exported to your files page. Uh, we're going, we're going, since our T's change as well, we're gonna go ahead and select our T's as well. And then export, select the layers, boundary, T's. We'll make it an ag setup file, which is ag leaders proprietary file format, and then hit the green check. Now where those files go, if you go to the My Files page here,
This is one that I made earlier. Uh, and actually our second set, but every time you make a setup file, it will be date stamped and time stamped as well. So if I hit refresh, we should have two setup files. There we go. So this first one should have been should be our roughs. This one should be our T's. You don't need to rename these, but you can uh, you can edit them and rename it as well to make it simpler for yourself. So roughs. This one is T's. Now they're in your My Files page. So now you're ready to actually import them into the display. So you can, you should be able, now that they're in your Agfinity account, as long as your display is connected to Agfinity, you should be able to hit the satellite, data transfer, import setup, and then these two setup files should be in that file, or files within your Agfinity account, and you can import them into display, and they will modify the existing boundaries.